We are at the 21st century version of Noah's Ark. We have gone to the Wild Game Reserve right here at Pindu. And in Zulu, Pinda means the return. And all this land around us was farmland until the 1990s. In single file. Okay. It's hard to even express how exciting this is to be steps away. Elephant in the Look at the elephant right back there. It's chasing the other rhino. It's chasing the rhino. As a game? As a dominance thing. Look at it. When a big cat like a cheetah is sighted, Ranger Giles Kelmanson's enthusiasm oh, knows no cool. bounds. Just incredible. Look at them. When she starts to hunt, the suspense is almost unbearable. And when it concludes, it's nature red in tooth and claw. That's what happens out here at survival of the fittest and you let things play out naturally. At Pinda, wild animals that thrived long ago have been reintroduced to the land. Fences have come down and the private land reserve expanded. So the wildlife is free to roam and breed. There's only so many animals that we can have on it. Right. So to maintain genetic diversity, we'll swap a few animals. Without these initiatives, there's the strong possibility that many of the animals you see here would become extinct. Here you can see those tracks are small, although it's a female with the, with the calf. Pinda Reserve Manager Simon Naylor and tracker Zama Kube are looking for the reclusive black rhino and her seven-month-old calf. No one had seen a black rhino here for more than a century, but in 2002, 15 black rhino on the critically endangered list were reintroduced to Pinda, and they've had six new babies since. They are bringing a species literally back from the brink. It's another rhino uh, that's been born in, in Africa. There's very few left, probably about four and a half thousand. So it's um, from a conservation of the rhino, the black rhino, which we've seen here. It's very, very important. These African buffalo have replaced the cattle farming on this land. And by fertilizing the land, they too are restoring the ecosystem. The Zulu name, Nyati, means uh, to fertilize. Um, and that's exactly what they do. Everything now is, is, is coming back into balance. Um, and that's, that's, the, you know, that's the benefit of having wildlife. So we can turn things around. I mean, that's the lesson here. Absolutely, yeah. It's just a mindset, I think, though. That humans own everything. I, I think we've got to get away from and try and share a little bit with these magnificent animals. And one of the people sharing those magnificent animals with us is Brett Drew, who is uh, a ranger here. Brett, tell me about the difference between the people you pick up in the morning and the people you drop off at the end of the day? Well, there's so many different things that can happen to all different, you know, different types of people. And it, uh, it really is something so special to not only me, but I think most rangers, when you see not only the change in personality, but how people lighten up and actually start to relax when they come to a magnificent place, just like Pinda. Now, there are a lot of things you could be doing. Yeah. You could be an entrepreneur, you could be doing banking, you could be earning a lot more money. Why is it? You, you came here and you stay here? Well, not only growing up in uh, this part of the world, but for me, making a career out of my passion is probably not only the most simple thing that came to me, but it's uh, the most uh, amazing experience of my life. And it, uh, it really is special to be able to work in an environment surrounded not only by incredible people, but uh, the animals and uh, meeting. And they yeah. share this passion with every single person that comes here. Brett Drew, thank you so much.